Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform a stress test and test your CPU for stability issues on your Windows computer. So we're going to be utilizing a utility known as Prime95, which is a free application that should be able to gauge the stability of a CPU. And this is typically used a lot if you're going to be overclocking systems to see how far you can really push your hardware. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a quick, or I shouldn't really say quick, I mean it's quick if you want it to be quick, but I should say more of an effective solution to see how your CPU is handling. So this utility is definitely not for novices. Your computer will get hot during the stress test, and the stress test will run indefinitely until you cancel it. So I would highly recommend if you have any system monitoring utilities like Speccy or HW Monitor, you use them as well to see how hot your CPU is getting. And at a certain point, you might have to stop the test, which is perfectly fine, because this test will continue to run as so long as it does not encounter any errors. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to put that disclaimer out there right away that I would not recommend doing this unless you are fully aware of what you're getting yourself into. And as long as you know what you're doing, it should be perfectly fine. I'm just going to put that little disclaimer in there that don't just try this if you have no idea what you're doing, basically. But that's for a lot of things in life, to be honest. So I'm going to have this link in the description of the video to the makers of the software. And you want to select the correct version for your operating system. In my case is the 32-bit operating system, so I'm going to select that download. I'm going to save it to my desktop here. It shouldn't be a too big of a download either, and it is in a compressed file format, so you're just going to have to open that up. There's going to be some information here, a README file. I would highly recommend that you guys check some of this information out before you proceed with the video. And the application itself should be in this folder as well. So I'm going to double click on Prime95 in here, which is the actual application. I'm going to extract them all, and I'm going to make a folder on the desktop here. You can put it wherever you want. I just don't want a bunch of files on my desktop. So I'm just going to call it Prime95. And I'm going to select that folder from the list. And I'm going to extract it over there. And now that we are in our new folder we created, I'm just going to double click on the Prime95 application. If you receive the file security warning, just left click on Run. This is a free application. This is pretty popular. A lot of information and data is available about it online. So just to give you guys a little bit of preview of what to expect, I would recommend that you guys just click on just stress testing. If you want to join their community, you can join it by clicking on the first button. So just stress test. I'm going to run through a few of the options for running these tests right here. The first one is the small FFT test, which primarily will test the FPU and the CPU cache. The second option is the in-place large FFTS, which will do the most amount of power consumption while it tests the FPU and the CPU cache, and it will utilize some RAM as well. The blend in here will test everything, including the RAM, so the RAM, the CPU, everything the FPU, and whatnot. And the custom, if you want to customize it, I don't really know what you'd really want to customize it with when you have these three options here. But let's just say I wanted to select the first option here and then I click on OK. Keep in mind this test will continue to run indefinitely so don't just like let it go overnight. I'd recommend just setting it up and then going back a couple hours later and checking on it. But I'm just going to personally cancel out of this test. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's like to get the application up and running. And I think I did that in this tutorial or at least I hope I did. So I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. I do hope I helped you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And again, catch you in the next one. Goodbye.